Hello everyone, welcome to the demo of CVSE 125. We're at group two. Um, before we start the game, let me briefly introduce our teammates. Our best uh, animator and uh, best uh, artist, Terry. Our intelligent um, network designer and uh, weapon system designer, Sean. And the most awesome architect, Chen Chen Zhao. <laughs> Our best game designer and uh, sound effect, Yu Le. And our best tester and uh, UI designer, Joe. <laughs> Me, I'm Yang Shu Shen. I'm the graphic director and uh, physics designer. So. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, last of us, most important, the guy next to me is Jay Sheng. He's the graphic director and uh, the team lead of our team. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, our team name is called uh, SJ Studio. So uh, our game is an FPS game. Uh, instead of two versus two, we designed eight versus eight to this year. And right now we have like five uh, machines there, and we'll have four over there. And uh, next is uh, our game idea is come from uh, Call of Duty. So our game name is Call of Minions. So instead of Minions, we, uh, that's the character from the movies. And also uh, the way we play it is like the uh, plan uh, with a zombie. And, uh, the game style is like the garden warfare. So next, let's uh, Sean talk about our networking. Uh, hi, I'm Sean, and I'm net responsible for the networking. And for our game networking, we use um, TCP and uh, with uh, WingSocket. We are using non-block buffers with 16, 64 kilobyte socket buffer. As a result, actually our server runs as fast as 15 milliseconds, which results more than six, 60 cycles per second. And so we don't really need to um, rely on any computation from client side. All the server-side so, down, all, everything. And because of the great network, we support a 16 player as introduced before. And everyone can play using cable or Wi-Fi, doesn't matter. The Wi-Fi, uh, the network can handle everything. We also have our client ID scheduler that uh, no matter when you want to leave the game, you can come back later and uh, pick up your original character. The server side handle all the sign of the ID. So we're gonna have uh, Jade introduce more about the graphic part. Uh, okay, uh, now we want to pick three players here. Uh, if you want to play, raise your hand, please. Uh, yeah, come here, please. Yeah, please. Oh, so we can we could only offer three here. Uh, so now, uh, Terry, enter the game, please. Okay. All right, let's let's see what we can do. Look around. Um, everything is um, created on a normal table, and uh, we're in a living room right now. Yeah, look how look look around. You, the other minions are your teammates, and uh, we we rendered all the minions using GLSL and uh, use the phone shading, so it looks shiny. And you can press tab to look at your team. The team, uh, all the minimums are spli split into te two teams, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Yeah. And you are right now around the Pepsi team, Terry. All right, let's, let's jump on the poker.
Yeah, you can jump on the poker house. The pokers are we made uh, ourselves using texture mappings. And uh, you can shoot bananas with your gun. And every time you got hit, you will see randomly generated textures on your screen, just like a bananas hit on you. <laughs> Yeah, this is the machine gun. Uh, I mean the rifle. The rifle has more bullets and uh, less CD than the, the pistol. Okay, we have a second floor of the battlefield. Oh, ew. Yeah, you can press B to buy more weapons. And we have a weapon system. We have four different guns. Pistol, rifle, shot, shotgun, and a sniper. Right now you see it's the shotgun. And the shotgun has um, more bullets. Oh, this is the machine gun. The machine gun has the unlimited bullets. It's, it's powerful. <laughs> Let's walk around on the second floor. Okay, uh, Terry, look at your shadows. Okay, here you can see the minion has shadows. Uh, this is did by the GLSL, and uh, I used two different shaders to make these shadows. And this is like a uh, percentage uh, filters, and uh, you can see it's very smooth in the area. And also, Terry, go to the fish tank. Yeah, this is an iPhone here. Okay, we made some water effect on it. Uh, but right now we are missing some of the uh, texture mapping here. Oh, he died. When he died, he will fly on, on the field. And he will respond to his base here. This is the sniper. You can one shot anyone if you are good. Now you can kill your teammates. You can only kill the enemies. As you can see, Everything, every object in the scene is um, made out of a rigid body. So we use the bullet physics as the physics engine, and we write some APIs to add um, the rigid body to every object, so you can jump on them. Terry is good at the dodging. <laughs> He's hitting behind the, do the pokers. All right, this is the shotgun. The shotgun, every time you, you, you shoot bananas, you will shoot nine bananas. And the bananas can collide with other bananas. Uh, 
as you can see, there are many bananas flying around these things. And each of the banana is a game object here. And actually, when you have two guns shooting together, the banana can hit each other. And that's the way you can use your shotgun to dock your sniper, something like that. And also, uh, everything here in, uh, is done in the server. And all the bullets, uh, how they render, uh, how they go, and the position and the rotation of the bullet is all in the servers. We only transfer the position data to our client, and our client only render here. And our uh, this means the server never trusts the client, and we only accept command there. Okay, you can see uh, we are winning here. It's 26 versus 20, 31. Uh, Terry, can you press tap again? Yeah, you can see uh, the left side is our professors. He is leading uh, uh, our team. Uh, this is the seventh name of our teammate. And the right side is our TA. Jake is leading his uh, seven minions. That's from the minions name. Okay, uh, the right side, the star with the numbers, uh, they are the resources. And each one, uh, one minute, you will gain 10, uh, 10 resources there. And each time when you reload your gun, you will spend two uh, resources there. And when you buy your gun, you need to like 20 resources each time. And we have only four uh, guns here. And the most powerful one is the sniper. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, one shot guns. Each time our teammate want to develop one new one new weapons, they tell me uh, make it OP. So the first one come out is a, a shotgun, and then the other one we we said uh, there's no enough bullet, and we made a machine gun there. Okay, uh, as you can see, he climbed on the book, and he can see all the scenes there. Yeah, uh, the notebook have all our teammate numbers here. Oh. <laughs> Terry is good at steppers. He's our best player. By the way, as you can see, all the UIs and HUDs are done by ourselves. We didn't use any external libraries. Yeah, pretty much are done in the Photoshop. And we did some texture mapping. Uh, that's pretty much of it. So, okay. Uh, here I can respond. To, uh, answering questions. Anyone have questions? Come on, ask some questions here. Yeah. Oh, we didn't make it. That's a really good question. Uh, <laughs> we talked about in the first week, and my teammate asked me to make an RTX, a RTX game. And I told me, uh, we can't make too many models there. And we, uh, I thought about, uh, I think about which, which models is the easiest one we can make from the 3D, uh, uh, from 3D Max, right? And I looked some tutorial, and there is a tutorial with how to make a minions. Then I told Terry, uh, give me two minions, and we, I can make the game. Then we finish the minions like in two weeks. Yeah, and then the mini model uh, is done by is done by our artist. Yeah, and then he made the animations using MD2 format in 3D Max. Uh, 
and more players. Yeah, we have more players, and it's an FPS game, right? <laughs> The server didn't load any uh, object there. We only uh, the server only load the bounding box of each of this uh, thing here. Like the poker, it has a bounding box there, and all the uh, minions models is only in the clan. The server tell us where is the minions, and the clan know where is it where it is, and we use the model to render there. Uh, yeah, so we don't have any model there. We just have the position. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, we have a. Uh, uh, we will keep track how many uh, bullets there. And we will tell the clan, each of the clan, there are how many uh, bullets around him. And we can use uh, uh, the vector to loop it and to render all of them. Yeah, and every, every five seconds, um, we will delete the previous, the previous bananas. Yeah, and every time a banana hit a medium, the banana's object will be deleted. So in that way, we will save a lot of memory. And uh, all the rendering are done in the GLSL, and uh, we use the vertex buffer array, uh, vertex buffer object. So we can render a lot of objects here. No. <laughs> no. We actually designed a cannon. It can shoot in uh, iPhone there. <laughs> we didn't finish it. Yeah. Uh, there's one uh, point line. It's dynamic render. Only two paths, and the, the spotlight is up there. And you can see all the shadows is down to the, uh, each object of it. Yeah, we only have one point line in the middle of the room. Terry, can you look up? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And all the bananas have the shadows there. Any more questions? <laughs> 